This is the second in a series of videos for primary schools on implementing National Curriculum 2014. This time we're focusing on medium term planning. A medium term plan sets out what children will learn and identifies the activities they will carry out during a DNT project. In most schools, a medium term plan is also the termly plan for the subject and is usually written by the class teacher with guidance where needed from the subject leader. In the next five minutes, I want to talk about the elements of a high quality medium term plan and how it can be evaluated to ensure children receive a genuine DNT experience. Drawing on the school's long term plan, each medium term plan should state what aspect of DNT is being covered and what the focus for children's learning will be according to their ages. For example, in year three or year four, if the aspect being addressed is mechanical systems, an appropriate focus would be levers and linkages. Each medium term plan should list specific learning objectives. These can either be de derived directly from the national curriculum or to ensure age appropriateness, they can be based on the DNT Association's progression framework. The objective should state what children will learn in relation to designing, making, evaluating and technical knowledge and in food projects, cooking and nutrition. Class teachers will need to adapt objectives if prior learning has been missed or if more support or challenge is required to move children's learning on. As part of medium term planning, class teachers, ideally in discussion with children, should make decisions about what products will be designed and made and evaluated, who the intended users will be and what the purpose of the products will be. Medium term plans should also make links to topics and themes, establish connections with other subjects, identify resources and pinpoint key technical vocabulary. According to the 2014 programmes of study, children should work in a range of relevant contexts. The examples given include the home, school, gardens, local community, industry and the wider environment. Teachers may choose to work in contexts that are not listed. For example, in Key Stage 1, children could work in contexts that are imaginary or story based. And in Key Stage 2, children may carry out a project within the context of sustainability. The context class teachers include within their planning should create motivating opportunities for children's learning. Context can be set using a letter, a visit, a visitor, an existing product, a story character, a problem to solve, a mini en enterprise opportunity, a seasonal event or a link to another subject. To ensure good practice, each medium term plan should include three types of activity investigative and evaluative activities where children learn from a range of existing products and find out about DNT in the wider world. Focused tasks where children are taught specific technical knowledge, designing skills and making skills. And a design, make and evaluate assignment where children create functional products with users and purposes in mind. Through investigative and evaluative activities and focused tasks, children are equipped with the knowledge, understanding and skills they need to design and make products. The three types of activity don't have to be followed in a sequence, and it's good practice to dip in and out of the activities in order to meet children's needs. Include references to relevant risk assessments that have been completed in your medium term planning to ensure that you've highlighted the control measures or strategies that will be used to minimise risks. Ensure too that you comply with your local authority, employer and school health and safety policy and guidance. Before carrying out a design and technology project, class teachers should evaluate their planning against the six school curriculum principles to ensure that children will receive a genuine DNT experience. Children should design and make products for a user, considering their needs, wants and interests. They should understand the purpose of the products they are designing and making. Each product they create should perform one or more tasks. They should design and make products that work or function effectively in some way. In DNT, it's not sufficient for children to create products which are purely aesthetic. 
Children need opportunities to make their own design decisions, including the form their product will take, how it will work and who it will be for. They need some scope to be original with their thinking. Projects that encourage innovation lead to a range of products and are characterised by engaging open-ended starting points for learning. And finally, children should design and make authentic products that are real and meaningful to themselves and others. Projects on a Page is the Association's popular national scheme of work for primary design and technology. The scheme comprises 15 project planners, or medium-term plans, which have been designed to help schools implement the 2014 national curriculum in an imaginative way. For more information, visit the home page and search for projects on a page. Good luck with your medium-term planning.